welcome to my organized life where I'm trying to get my life organized. If you're new to the channel, a big welcome to you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you. So today we are going to be going through and doing up the budget spread um, in my budget by paycheck workbook by the budget mom for April. And I love doing these. I'm so excited. So I bought the printable version of the Budget by Paycheck Workbook by The Budget Mom. Um, I did throw some other online resources in here. I kind of customized it to my own needs. So I got rid of her title pages and I put some that I found online and then everything else for each month. Instead of having the title page that she had for the book, I just decided to do quotes. Um, make it a little bit inspirational. I love quotes and then it was also a little bit easier on toner as um, her title pages were almost full color pages and I didn't really want to print those out. So each month has its own quote. So we're going to be going in and doing up April's. So the quote for April says, today I choose. I love this quote because it kind of reminds you that, you know, sometimes things happen and they can affect how you feel or your outlook on the day. But for the most part, you get to choose how you feel. And sometimes remembering that is helpful in deciding to be happy and I kind of live that day by day. I go out with the best attitude possible and I try not to let anything bring me down. Sometimes it's easier said than done but it's always good to remember. So I'm going to be going up and doing the spread or dashboard or whatever you would want to call this. I'll just go through the ones that we've done already. So this was January's spread. And here's February's. And then this is the current one. This is March. So each one kind of has its own theme. Um, we're going to go through all of the materials I use right away here. So um, I do like to have kind of like a border on the edge of the pages. I don't really know what you would call this. But basically for my, um, I do planning videos as well. Feel free to check any of those out if you're interested. But I bought um, a month's worth of themed kits for my planner off of Etsy. And then I did use Photoshop to edit the bottom washi that came with uh, the monthly kits. And then I kind of elongated it and made it so that way it would fit the margin of the page that way it adds just a little bit of extra something to the page. So this is going to be for April and I'm so excited. This is so pretty. So I've got that one for April. Um, some other stuff that I'm going to be using. I bought some other printable stickers on Etsy. I go through and print my own stickers myself. Everything that you see in this video will be links in the description below. Um, my Etsy links will have separate links and then everything that I've bought on Amazon and then some will be in an Amazon idea list. It will hopefully eventually be an affiliate link, just a little bit of a disclaimer there. I don't think it is right now, but I'm working towards getting it to where it is. So if you click on that one link, that will take you to my idea list. So I've got a budget category one, a planning category, um, home and office supplies, and then I've got some other categories for my other channel. So everything and then some will be in there. So feel free to check that out. So we'll probably use some, I don't know if we'll use any of the Print Petticoat Bandit stickers, but definitely use some of the Paper Crown Planner stickers. She's got these adorable little savings piggy banks and then these payday stickers, cash envelope stickers, and then also credit card stickers that I love to use. Um, That'll probably actually be it for my principal stickers. And then everything else will come out of sticker books. So we'll go through those right now. So I've got one sticker book by The Happy Planner. This is a budget uh, sticker book. So all things budgeting in this one. I don't usually use a whole lot in this book aside from um, these savings tracker stickers here, I like to put one on my monthly spread and then at the end of the month I can go in and write down how much I actually saved for that month. And then recollections, I've got a few sticker books by them. You'll notice that I really love pastels and I love when they've got different foiling. This one has holographic foiling. 
it's a whole bunch of cute stickers in there. Um, another one by Recollections. These are family stickers. These are tracking stickers. Can never have enough tracking stickers. And then I also got this Celestial Skies sticker book. Um, it's by Craftsmart. Absolutely love this. I'm obsessed with anything galaxy and universe, so I had to get this. It's so cute. And then another main one that I'm gonna be using is this one here by Recollections. I absolutely love this. I need to find more of this. It's got different themed date dots, which I absolutely love. So there's a whole bunch of different shapes, colors, styles. I'm gonna run out sometime this year and I'm very sad about it. And then it's also got um, a lot of different options for the days of the week. It's got some flags and then some cute little deco and some other stuff in it. This is just an absolutely awesome sticker book. I need more. <laughs> If you guys know of any other sticker books like this or know where to find this one, please let me know because I cannot find it anywhere. I need like five more of them. Um, aside from that, I think the only other thing that I will be using is probably my stencils just to add um, a little bit here and there to the page. So I do kind of add little bits of just doodles. I like to make it look a little bit more... I'm kind of like my own type thing. So I think that's everything that I'm going to use. Um, it is a little bit dim outside, so maybe we'll, we'll keep the light on. I think that helps. So we will dive on in.
I feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because
there's the spread done. So in hindsight, I probably should have zoomed out a little bit more. Um, I'm hoping that most of that was in frame. I won't really know until I go back to edit this video, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. On the plus side though, my phone battery did last throughout the whole thing. Usually it dies on us. So I did struggle a little bit keeping a limited palette because I try to kind of center my colors based on kind of like the theme, which this month would be Easter, obviously. So it's it's a pretty colorful palette. So I did kind of go a little overboard, I think, but I am really happy with it. I've got all of my bills down and then I have them highlighted um, depending on which paycheck they're going to be paid with. So all of my yellow is paid with my last March paycheck. And then everything in pink is going to be paid with this paycheck, everything in purple paid with this paycheck. So yeah, it just makes the most sense that way and then it kind of helps me when I'm budgeting. I can just come in and look for the color instead of the bills, that way I'm less likely to miss anything. Very bright and colorful, but I like it. I'm not so sure about this sticker here though. I'm going to try to move that. I like that better. I didn't like that it was covering the 20th. All right, so I think that's everything. Um, one of the challenges this month is just a basic one, just eating at home. So nothing that I'm really saving specifically there, but hopefully saving money by not eating out. And I think what I'm gonna do to track that is I'm going to track anytime I cheat. So there are a certain amount of cheat days that um, are allowed, but if I go over the number of cheat dates that are allowed, then I will record them here, I think, and that's what I'm going to do with that one. So, I'm really excited for the month of April. March is, it's not even halfway through March yet, though, as I'm recording this, so kind of jumping the gun, but it's always good to get ahead of things, that way I don't fall behind. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified every time I upload. But for now, that's everything. So as always, take care and hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, guys. Bye.